good morning. Well, it's actually afternoon and I actually have to go in like five minutes, but I thought I would start the vlog. It's Tuesday and I spent all day yesterday doing my usual Monday morning cleaning and picking up the house and all that stuff. By the way, I'm wearing purple. I never wear purple. How do I look? Do I look alright? just finished editing a video and I'm letting that render and I need to go and pick up Caden really soon, as in like five minutes. I am happy with the way that the house has came out today. Just making sure that I clean and tidy just as much as possible and I have decided that tonight I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna have a good time. After I make dinner, which shouldn't be too hard because I have cleaned the kitchen to its utmost professionalism, I am going to just sit and relax and draw for a little bit and then I'm also going to have a bath and just chill and relax. I have already used those two bath bombs that I mentioned in one of my last videos uh, and they were really good. I highly recommend them. I didn't. I don't think I actually put the, the links in the description for those and I don't know if you can actually get them in the UK but I'll have a little look when I'm editing this so that I do not forget. Editing me, go and check that out. Oh my goodness, this is probably not the best way to get ready to go and get Caden, but I am in a rush. I'm gonna go and pick up Caden because I'm probably gonna be late now. It, yeah, I need to go back. It's Tuesday, I was doing my hair. I kind of am a little bit annoyed by the weekly vlogs. I don't like stopping and starting so much and I feel like I end up just filming the same thing over and over again. It's like when I talk to my friend Jennifer, uh, I message her every day, send her voice notes every day and I'll send them just as I arrive back at home from the gym. So I'm telling her I'm making my breakfast and I always have the same thing for breakfast and I always do the same things around making breakfast, like I'll put a laundry load on and I will clean the house up a bit, do the dishes, you know, and then I'll go for a shower and I always tell her that I'm doing the exact same thing and it's kind of getting like that with the vlogs where I'm turning on the camera about the same times and saying I'm gonna go do this, I'm gonna go do that. So I really do need guidance from you about what I can do about that. I'm gonna try and film different parts and just like turn the camera on even if I don't wanna speak to the camera and just show what I'm doing because I think that's where I have the most problem is showing where I'm what I'm doing but I don't want there to be no speaking because I don't like music at all. I don't mind a little bit of music but if it's just a lot of music then it's like what's the point? Also don't say anything about my hair please <laughs> unless it's something nice. I am trying to be a middle part in person because my hairdresser said that my hair, like I get annoyed by my hair because it's so heavy on one side and obviously it's so heavy on one side because I always part it to the side. So she's got to thin it out quite a bit at that side to make it comfortable for me. But she said that she wouldn't have to do that if I could deal with the middle part. And I just don't, <laughs> I just can't. Uh, maybe if she would like, I don't know, style my hair to be in a middle part, like feather the fringe maybe, to make it kind of blend in a bit and not be so drastic. I don't know. So I'm just doing it to see. I do like it when my hair's not in my face though. Like I love having, like being able to bend down and it not go in front of my eyes. Like I can still see. Whereas if I bend down when I have my hair side part and the side just covers my entire face. So I don't know. We're we're experimenting here. I am gonna book a hairdressing appointment soon. I meant to do it a while ago. She's probably gonna shout at me. Nah, she won't. She's nice, I like her. She like, doesn't judge you for not getting your hair cut every six weeks, but she also like, guides you. And she doesn't judge you for using box color dye either, <laughs> even though she knows that it's bad, but she does the same thing, so it's fine. That's why I have a middle part and I'm gonna test it out to see how I like it and then we're gonna see if we can continue with it. We're gonna just see if, if, if I can continue with it and if I like it. Um, again, I think I would like it if it was actually styled to be that way because it's currently styled to kind of be feathered and shaped for my uh, side part in, but we'll see. So yeah, I'm just quickly straightening my hair so that I can do other things. I want to make a video today but I don't really know what videos I want to do. I have loads of footage of me cleaning my house, I've got loads of footage of me 
randomly decluttering things so I might just make a little intro video and say like these are the things like these are clips from me decluttering things randomly throughout the house recently I don't know because I do have a lot of video ideas but a lot of them take time and stuff so I don't know we'll see but it is Wednesday today so I have a lot of other things to do today. Caden has football. I need to make sure that his kit is ready. It's training though, so I think it's fine. Where's my glasses? You know what? I could get used to this, I think. She tried to make me do it when my hair was shorter and I was like, no, I look like, what's his name from Saved by the Bell? I don't know if anybody. Yeah, probably older people watch these videos. Do you remember Saved by the Bell? That blonde guy with the curtains? Anyway, I uh, said no to that. I don't know if I need like styling, like how do you style your hair? I don't know how to do it, but yeah, it just looks a little bit ridiculous just now because my fringe is so long, but we'll see how it goes. I do like it though, it does feel a lot less heavy on one side, which is good. I don't know where my glasses are, but yeah, I am going to try and figure everything out. <laughs> I have been drawing a lot. I was watching Virgin River, which I've already seen all of this, the whole thing, because I love it. I'm watching it again because I've I haven't seen the whole thing like together as a series. I did watch season one when it came out, season two when it came out, three and four. So I'm watching it all from the beginning and I'm just sketching because I've obviously seen it so I don't need to pay that much attention. That's getting me into sketching which is really fun. Hello, it's Thursday and I've done that thing where I'm just recording clips, one clip a day. I, I'm sorry, but today I'm going on an adventure. It's a really short boating adventure. I'm going to go to the shop because I have to get some errands done that I need to do that I've been putting off. I want to clean my carpets before Susan comes uh, during the Easter holidays. So I'm going to go and get carpet cleaning solution. I'm going to go to my mum and dad's to get their carpet cleaner. And while I'm in b and I'm going to see if there's... Why else did I want to go to b and Oh, they have a really good range of skincare products. So I need to go and see if they've got anything with salic acid in it because that really Really helps with my acne and my acne is flaring up like mad because I think that if you treat your acne and then stop treating it randomly it just flares up so also it's like that time of the month as well again so that means that the hormone the hormones are going a bit crazy so I'm gonna see if I can get anything to do with that and then I need to get milk and just a couple of other bits and bobs that I need. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get that stuff. I'm in my absolute cozies today, like my coziest outfit that's still kinda okay. And also, I forgot to mention, but I got my mum super into decluttering recently. I was gonna make videos with her and we were gonna go through her house, but my mum, when she gets something in her mind that she wants to do, she just does it. And she has been for the last um, I only managed to get a couple of clips of before and afters because, she, like I said, she kept doing it by, by herself, but she got rid of all of her towels. She used to have a whole, like four cubby holes worth of towels stuffed to the brim and then when you, open the door, all of the towels used to fall out. Now she's only got, I think she's only got six towels to each. No, she's got four towels, uh, like bath towels to each for them. And she's got a couple of hand towels, so like four or five hand towels as well. And uh, that's it. And she got rid of a whole massive bag worth of stuff from the bathroom vanity cupboard thing that she had. And then she also got rid of like pretty much everything in her cupboard, one of her cupboards, her craft cupboards that she has. She had like glasses and jars and plastic tubs and egg cartons and all this stuff that she said that she was gonna make things with. And she ended up getting rid of those as well. There was like six garbage bags or something worth of stuff. So I just thought I would share that with you just to let you know that my mum was on board as well. And I really did want to make a video with her, but she has done her house now. So I've run out of houses of people to declutter, I think, unless any of my other closest friends or neighbours would like me to help them with it and would let me record, but I doubt it. So yeah, we've run out of, you're just gonna have to deal with me decluttering my house over and over again. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just need to put my shoes on and go. I don't know what time it is. I can't 
Where's my watch? I've already actually lost it. I've taken it off and I don't know where it is. Panic over. It's quarter past one, so I probably should be getting going soon-ish. And then I'm gonna come home and probably pick up Caden before I do actually, and then I'm gonna just have a good time with my with my wants and dreams and hopes no what is wrong with me okay love you bye this is what just happened i'm trying to clean my carpets by the way this thing eats solution like mad but anyway i noticed that it was kind of spurting out a little bit of water uh, at the edge like right here so i took it off and i had unhooked the little hooks thinking that that was what was holding it in and it wasn't. It was holding the top to the bottom and it just went everywhere. By the way, this is an old model. It is the Vax Dual Power Pet Advance. My mum lent it to me. So we're gonna see how it works. Um, it seems to be doing a good job, but this carpet, like you can't even see how dirty it is. It's dirtier than that. This carpet gets a lot of abuse and there's like literally no point in cleaning it, cleaning it because basically everybody just trapes in with their shoes on. I'm trying to get the house clean for Susan coming, so. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna have, we're gonna be able to because this is spurting out water where it shouldn't at the corner here. I think it's broke, but we will see. Uh, I'm gonna clean this. It, it went all up the walls, all over my radiator all up those walls it's uh it's a mess look at that that is not clean water <laughs> it's so satisfying though i love it editing me here just thought i would pop in and say that i stopped filming after this point and then i went on a little adventure during easter with my in-law and my son and my other half we just spent some time together and we did some stuff so I thought that I would just insert clips and just show you what we did. Okay so I am just having this completely no sound just because of copyright reasons and stuff but this is a band called Old Times. They are Irish and they were pretty good. You can go and check them out on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description or a mention or something so you can go and check them out. I love it when bands just set up and play like that in the middle of Edinburgh. It happens quite a lot. And this is at M&D's uh, theme park in Scotland. It's literally the only theme park that we have. It's really tiny and rubbish, but it's quite fun. We did some crazy golf. Need to go pretty fast here, but this is Muir Ravenside, which is really nice as well. It's just a little country park. And uh, we went bowling and went to Linlithgow for ice cream and a walk. And we played a lot of board games as well. Uh, we were in Edinburgh, obviously, and we bought a scarf. We always buy scarves in Edinburgh. I didn't buy one, Susan did. And we went on some rides in M&D's too. And then uh, we had like lots of takeaways, just Chinese, McDonald's, KFC, Toby Cavity, Chippies, like loads of stuff. And we also ate out, lots of coffee too. And yeah, that's basically it. So that's everything. Just wanted to share all of those little clips with you. Didn't really record that much, just focused on having the company and it was really nice. Hi, I just wanted to test to see if this would work the way that I wanted it to work because I haven't filmed in a bit and also wanted to check my hair out too. I don't know if my hair looks good anymore. I think I need it cut but I want to know if it looks greasy or not because <laughs> I could see it before and it looked really nice. Anyway, it's beautiful outside. I haven't been anywhere in a while. I wanted to tell you a couple of things because I've been gone for so long but I do need to go and pick up Caden. As usual I always start these videos when I am supposed to be when I'm supposed to be going to get Caden and now I'm on the floor because uh, <laughs> I don't have you on a tripod either. I can't believe how glorious it is outside but I'm just not doing anything. We had a good time, a good Easter. I was supposed to be filming videos for my break so that I didn't have a big break of videos, but I ended up not doing that because I just wasn't motivated. And it's annoying because I love making content and I want this to be my job, but like I find it so hard to make it my job. Like if I'm not in the mood or if I don't, have a good idea or if I have a few ideas like I have thousands of ideas 
but I'm not in the mood to film that particular video or I just think it's not going to be good anymore. I just can't force myself to do it and I know if I forced myself to do it, it would be good. Like I would be able to do what I want to do and have everything that I want to have. I don't know, it's weird, like my mind just won't let me do it and I end up just sitting around watching things on TikTok or YouTube or something that's really uninspiring and just mind boggling to just scroll and scroll and scroll. So I didn't do that but I did have a good time, a good break with my family. I also won some McDonald's socks in their little promotion things and then you scan the codes in and you can win up to £10,000 but we didn't win £10,000 I just won a pair of socks so that was good and then uh, I've been struggling getting back into the gym it's already Wednesday and I should have been filming on Monday basically I just had a day of trying to get the house ready and go food shopping and all that stuff and I've also decided to change up how I'm eating too just to test to see if it's better I already think that it's not. Before I was eating between the hours of 10 and 6 and now I'm eating between the hours of 7 and 3 and I don't know if that's good or not. I've had all of everything that I can eat already and I don't know if I'm going to get hungry later and also I don't know if that's going to work because sometimes I prefer to have dinner with my family so I don't know if I can do that because we usually have dinner around about four or five o'clock. Actually, it's usually about four, five or six o'clock. So I don't know maybe if I should move it up and eat between the, the hours of like something crazy, like, I don't know, one and seven or one and eight or one and nine. But that's too late, I think. I don't know. We'll see. I do still want to make a video about intermittent fasting and everything that I'm doing to keep fit and healthy. Um, but I went to the gym today and it was really good because I miss going to the gym. Tomorrow I'm going out with my dad and then on Friday I think I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to weigh myself even though I know that I'm not going to like the results because I had two and a half weeks off but whatever. And then I'm going to make sure that I remember to drop Caden off at my, gran at my mom and dad's on Saturday night. We're going to take him to football on Saturday. He's going to play a game. He's got a league game on Saturday. And then at night time, we're going to take him to my mom and dad's house so that he can spend more time with my mom and dad because he hasn't seen them for three weeks. And also, we just want time on our own. So that's going to be nice. I don't know why I'm still sitting on the floor. I need to go and pick up Caden. I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is the fit. I have some brown boots on. <laughs> see my brown boots? Some flowery trousers, and I'm also wearing one of Matt's t-shirts, and I have it like tied here. I don't know if that looks good or not, but I don't like how baggy it was. So that's the fit. <laughs> I don't know, I don't usually do um, outfits of the day, but whatever. I like it. So I wish that the seam wasn't the way that it was though, because the seam kind of cuts off the flowers and makes it obvious that there's a seam there. Anyway, I really want to try and make my own trousers at some point, but I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. I gotta go and get Kaden. I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna continue on with my day. Today has been a little bit of a bust. It is still early enough and I could go outside by myself. It's beautiful outside. I should be going outside for a walk at least, a little adventure maybe. I still want to. I don't know, I'm just not used to going places on my own. <laughs> but I should, because I want to really test out my plein air thing and I want to make a video for my art channel. I just know that I'm gonna get really embarrassed with setting up stuff and I shouldn't, but I will. So I've came back home, I think I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit quickly and then make myself some lunch and then maybe go. Just somewhere really close and easy to get to because I think that I will regret it if I don't. It's beautiful outside, it's supposed to get highs of 16 degrees. So I'm definitely gonna go and see if I can set up somewhere to do some artwork. I have a beautiful outfit on. I usually don't wear things like this, but I've got a skirt on, it's really nice, it's white. It is uh, really warm, really comfy, really flowy. Just feels really good and I like it. So I think that's what the plan is going to be, but that means I need to get going on doing the things that I need to do around about here.
Alright, so I'm ready, but I don't know if like I should take this or not. This is my seat, and it's usually in a little carrying case, but I don't know where the carrying case went. Did I take it or not? Is it okay to carry a seat like this? Is it? I mean, I guess it is. And then I have this, which is my crocheted box and a backpack so it's not actually heavy it's just awkward and then also my camera which is a lot of things to carry but I think I'm only gonna walk down to the little bit like the little beach area thing yeah let's go I've made it I'm in the car <laughs> I've already made a mistake I think and that would be the fact that I'm wearing really nice clothes and I shouldn't be because one I'm in the woods and two I'm gonna be painting so there's mistake number one. However, we are here now, so we've got to deal with it. And then mistake number two is I didn't bring a pound with me. I'm in the free car park, which is quite a far bit away from the bit that I want to go to. So that's a mistake because even though I love walking and I want to walk, carrying all that stuff with me is probably going to be hard. And also there are toilets near the main car park. So I think I've completely screwed this up. I'm gonna get out and figure out where I'm gonna go, what direction I'm gonna go in before I drag everything out of the car. And then uh, I'm gonna see where we can set up to paint. I have ages to walk yet <laughs> to get to my destination. I didn't think that it was this far. Also the wind is really bad, I'm really sorry. I think this is a community garden, which is pretty cool. Quite empty right now. There's also uh, apple trees planted everywhere. Goes on all the way up like there. I didn't want to go in because I didn't know if I could or not. So much stuff growing here, I don't know what happens to it, but I will research that and let you know. All right, so I had a little look at the information online and I couldn't really find that much about it. <laughs> All I could find was that it is accessible to the public and there are plots available for families and individuals and courses as well. That's all I found out about it. I don't know much more, so that's all I can say. These ones just get the- Oh! <laughs> these ones just- <laughs> These ones just get the lead <laughs> <laughs>